and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ria Varsami and I'm a shamanic astrologer. Today I will be sharing with you astrological information about the upcoming full moon that is happening on the 7th of March in the energy of Virgo. This is a very significant full moon as it's marking a closure of a three-year cycle. As together with the full moon we have Saturn, the planet of, of karma, the planet, uh, the greatest teacher, uh, the, the planet that will learn the most is changing signs and is moving from Aquarius to Pisces. And Saturn moved in Aquarius back in March 2020. So if you want to know what exactly cycle is closing for you, you have to look what was happening in your life back in the end of March, exactly 21st, 22nd of March, depending where you are in the world. And this is the, the, the chapter now that is closing for you and you are going through a new, absolutely fresh new chapter. So this full moon will highlight for all of us what we have to let go, what we have to cleanse in order to start this new chapter. So before I continue, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can support my work. So every time we have uh, a full moon is a time when we cleanse, when we release, when we let go, it's the peak of the moon cycle. And Virgo energy is connected with purification and cleansing. So this full moon is calling us to cleanse all these old energies all these energies that we accumulate through all these lessons, all this experience we had these last three years, of course, keep the, keep the lessons, but release all this heaviness, all these old things, so we can move into a higher state of consciousness and do a new chapter uh, in our life. So now the question you will be asking to yourself under this full moon is like, where do you have to create more space in your life? What do you need to cleanse from your life? If there is people, maybe situation, maybe your job, maybe you have to literally cleanse uh, your space, your house, maybe you have to cleanse your body. Uh, Virgo is very much connected with our body as well. Maybe you cleanse your schedule so you have more, more time, more availability. Where, what, whatever is uh, for each of you, uh, what you have to cleanse from your life. And also this is about uh, creating space for the new energy that is coming with the new moon in Aries and the new astrological year that is starting the 21st of March. Now the ruler of this full moon is Mercury because Virgo is ruled by Mercury and Mercury is in Pisces. As together with uh, Saturn they are doing a conjunction, Mercury and Saturn. And this conjunction talks about like, what are you afraid to, to tell? How you've been suppressing your voice? How you've been suppressing, expressing your yourself, uh, talking about your needs, um, telling to the world who you are? And also because Mercury is ruling the throat chakra and the throat is connecting with our life purpose and mission. They are both in Pisces. It will be this time that will, you will be really um, questioning yourself about your life purpose, about your life missions. Maybe you will receive a lot of insights, a lot of downloads. Uh, this is actually a calling, like a calling. You might feel like a calling deep in your heart. This is a calling for me. I feel like I have to go somewhere. I, I feel like I have to do something. And this is uh, what this alignment uh, can bring for you. Also, as Mercury is uh, ruling our mind, will change your perspective, your perspective of thinking, how you see the world. Uh, now, the sun is in Pisces, as every time we have a full moon, the sun and the moon are opposites. So uh, the sun is in Pisces, in 16 degrees of Pisces, and doing a conjunction with Neptune. And Neptune is the planet of our intuition, of the dream world, and in the shadow side is a planet of illusion. So this alignment is like calling us also to answer, answer this question. Are you aligned with your true self? Is your life aligned with your true self, with who you, who you really are? And what is you don't see in your life? What is you always put under the carpet? Uh, let's say, what you want you don't see? Where is this illusion coming from? And this can be also a time you might feel confused and this alignment will ask you to dive deep into your confusion. Dive deep into your confusion. See the root, find the root of your confusion. What is actually uh, creating all this confusion? Now, under also this full moon, we have a very uh, difficult aspect. We call it two square in astrology. So we have the sun and the moon opposite, opposite to each other. And uh, Mars creating this T square. Mars is in Gemini. And this T-square rises tension and contraction in us when something like that is happening in the cosmic sky. We're super affected. And what is calling us, what is stopping you from taking action? What is actually stopping you from taking action? Mars is all about action manifestation. What is stopping you from manifesting the life that you want? And this T-square guides us to find the root inside of us 
uh, find the root of our resistance. Our resistance will show us what we really have to change. Because uh, we cannot, uh, let's say, manifest uh, whatever we want if we have resistance to it. So, again, what I said before, we have really to cleanse from operating from all these old ways. And uh, if we're still operating from the same way, this obviously will lead us to the same results and we have to change that and we have to take action uh, in the future with this new energy in us, not from the old energy. Now, another one that is very important aspect, another important aspect is Jupiter, the planet of abundance, of expansion, of good luck, the amplifier is uh, conjuncting Chiron, the wounded healer, the asteroid that is connected with our deepest wounds and traumas. So this can raise a lot of um, uh, wounds to the surface. You might feel a lot of childhood things are coming to the surface out of nowhere, even uh, wounds from other lifetimes or uh, either um, uh, things that happened in the past and you didn't pay attention to them, you still, uh, they can still come to the surface. So for you to realize, okay, that hurt me actually, it was not just nothing for me. This was actually hurt, was hurting. So this alignment uh, wants us to face our deepest wounds because these are actually the wounds that hold us back from stepping into this uh, new chapter of our life. And this conjunction will be for the whole uh, month of March. We'll be, we'll be still working with this energy the whole March about really working with our deepest wounds and what is stopping us from really creating the life that we want. Uh, so overall, it's a very uh, intense uh, full moon, it's a very healing uh, full moon. It's a time for you to take time to cleanse, to heal yourself, to really also um, ask yourself all these questions. Uh, am I aligned with my true, is my life aligned with my true, with my true self? I, am I living my purpose? Um, and of course, I created a, a different video about, uh, about Mars, so you can also uh, watch this video. Uh, I talk a lot about uh, Saturn in Pisces and Pluto in Aquarius, uh, so you will find more information there. And um, yeah, other than that, uh, take some time for yourself this full moon. Uh, also, if you would like to fast, uh, if you would like to retreat uh, somewhere to the place that is next to the water, because Pisces is... Uh, uh, it's all about uh, it's all about water, so that will help you also to process all these uh, emotions. And uh, of course, if you want to work with me, uh, I offer a variety of uh, readings, and I offer also a thirty-minute full moon reading in which will can totally assist you in your uh, transformational process and your journey. We will see where are you now in your life, what's going on, and how this full moon will affect you, and how we can use this energy for your highest good and path. So I'll put also the link below for that. Uh, other than that, I wish you a beautiful full moon and I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye for now.